Thanks, Erica. Daz. Let's get this on uh, the web, guys, to Facebook. Come on. Are you recording, Vince? Okay. This guy's picking up speed. of a tanker truck in Beverly Hills, Aroxia, Tony. This is a unique one and a challenging one. A 2,000 gallon tanker truck is being pursued. A male driver being pursued by the Los Angeles Police Department heading westbound on Wilshire coming out of Beverly Hills towards the west side. This tanker truck was allegedly stolen from some location. Right now they are thinking that there is a non-flammable fluid inside up to 2,000 gallons perhaps just water, which would be good news. Now, this is a unique pursuit for many reasons. First of all, it's a tanker truck. Obviously, with the size uh, of this vehicle, there isn't the uh, opportunity for a pit maneuver. He is stopping uh, at stop signs. He's driving rather cautiously, but he has picked up speed. And you can see that speedometer. We have this state-of-the-art fly-along navigation system here. You can see the maps down below where exactly this pursuit is occurring. Again, westbound on Wilshire Boulevard, it appears he's slowing down just a little bit, but then he starts to pick up speed. You can see the speedometer about 20 miles an hour as he makes his way westbound. There's at least one LAPD airship circling overhead as well, and a number of units. Again, a pursuit of a tanker truck. Just one person, the driver, believed to be uh, inside that cab, a male driver. And this tanker, Tony and Aroxia, was commandeered from some location. Wilshire Division picked this pursuit up first, and we are first on scene here up in Sky Fox. No question. He is. He's. That's what we've seen thus far. He's picked up a little bit of speed when he has an open uh, highway. This is Wilshire Boulevard. He's continuing westbound. But, uh, Tony, you bring up a very good point. The size, the volume of this vehicle, the weight of it causes a lot of problems. Uh, again, uh, absolutely no chance of a pit maneuver with something like this to end this pursuit. You have a lot of pedestrian traffic out. Uh, the the uh, Commute is just getting going here on the west side and a lot of vehicular traffic as well. Buses included as this one uh, up ahead, this metro bus. And it looks like he's up against uh, the intersection here with the light. Let's see if he uh, makes his way uh, around uh, this stopped traffic here. But it doesn't appear that he is. Again, he's been uh, rather cautious. One thing that uh, begs the question, if he did uh, actually st uh, steal this vehicle, this tanker truck, does he have any type of experience driving a tanker truck? This is not an easy vehicle to just uh, hop into and drive around and uh, and making tight turns. He's right up against the traffic. Let's widen out a little bit. We'll see uh, where those units are heading westbound on Wilshire, right at San Vicente. Again, you can fly along with us in our nav system down below. They're keeping speeds down, not much above 20 miles an hour. There's all those LAPD units. And I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing some traffic control as well at these very busy intersections, just in case he does start to drive erratically. First and foremost, these officers want to bring this to a peaceful end. They do not want any innocent bystanders, bystanders to get injured, uh, and they want this to uh, end in such a way where no officers get injured either, obviously. So they're going to take this cautiously, but they want to bring it to an end here. Again, a tanker truck, 2,000 gallons, loaded with what they believe is non-flammable liquid, possibly even water, which uh, is good news. But again, the, the bulk of that vehicle could really do a lot of damage uh, if he made his way through an intersection uh, against a red light.
It certainly is. Like, you look at an intersection like that, if you don't have a lot of experience with a truck like this, it's going to be hard to make a right turn. And he stopped uh, there at the uh, intersection. It looks like he's slowly making his way down. There's one of the LAPD air supports uh, circling overhead, watching his every move. Again, a male driver commandeering this tanker truck, stealing this allegedly in the Wilshire area of the LAPD's jurisdiction and making his way westbound now on Wilshire Boulevard coming out of Beverly Hills. Sky Fox uh, was on scene here first, and we're going to continue to watch this up here. Yeah, absolutely, but in uh, busy city streets like this, it's really uh, quite challenging as well because you have opposing traffic, you have all these intersections. If they come to a point where they believe that they can do it, they'll try to do anything. Here we go, a pedestrian walking through the crosswalk here. And uh, again, the driver has been very cautious. He's stopped at every light. He looks left and right, and, uh, and he's on his way again. Uh, it appears from our vantage point he may have some experience uh, driving just because it appears he's... Uh, he's you know, managing this tanker truck uh, quite well thus far, but you can see traffic uh, on the opposite. Ah, now he's kind of pushing through, and he doesn't have the red light. Yeah, he doesn't have the green light. He went through the red light there at Fairfax. There's no question about that. Uh, they watch every single move, and they will write him up for everything. Uh, again, Wilshire Boulevard here. Uh, through uh, the mid-city area now, and he is uh, making his way at a speed of, you can see the speedometer up there picking up a little speed now that he doesn't have uh, much traffic or a light ahead of him, over 40 miles an hour, now at Stanley Avenue on Wilshire. Heading, he's heading eastbound now on Wilshire Boulevard, uh, coming out of, oh, making a hard, tight turn there. That was uh, one of the most... Uh, uh, aggressive moves he's made so far and now he's sort of stuck he's got that pickup truck there let's see what he does and he turned into an area where the road was blocked let's see how he gets out of this one he's gonna have to do a a little backup maneuver here LAPD helicopter overhead you can see watching Wilshire Boulevard here at Curson no not at all he tried to make a hard left and sure enough he came into an area let's see what this guy does oh he's gonna move the cone for him I don't think he knows what's going on. Wow. <laughs> Moving the cone. Maybe he thinks he has business. He doesn't know what's going on. Maybe, I, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, there's no question, and LAPD uh, in recent years has led uh, the state in just that, uh, innocent people getting hurt or killed because of these pursuits. And the LAPD is very cautious, and they're aware of that. Uh, this very large city, uh, the second largest in the nation here, and with all of the traffic, uh, pedestrian and vehicular traffic here, they're cautious. And if they feel that the pursuit is too dangerous and the public is going to be in danger, they will back off and just track it by the air. So a lot of cones. This is a this is a construction area, and it, it almost looked like yeah, it almost looked like he knew he had business here, and that, those workers down below. All right, come right this way. We'll move the cones for you. Let's see where the officers are. We'll tilt uh, we'll tilt the camera up. There's the officers. We have an airship overhead. He really doesn't have anywhere to go. Let's uh, head back to the other side here. Yeah, he's he's trapped at this point. Unless they try to move all the vehicles out of the way, those look like uh, city vehicles perhaps doing some work on the street, some construction work there as well. And this is on Curson Avenue, just off of Wilshire. <clears throat> he was heading eastbound on Wilshire when he made that hard left. No, that, that vehicle is big enough, yeah. He just, doesn't, he just doesn't really have anywhere to go at this point. I, I mean, if we widen out a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure... Well, I'm sure his clearance, the way that he was looking uh, down the road at Wilshire and then making that hard left, he probably didn't see the barrier. You know, he's looking at... Yeah, and this is a dangerous situation because you just don't know what you're dealing with with these drivers. He's going to come up and... Oh, he's going to move the cone for him. There you go. I mean, this guy could be mentally, you know, unstable. He could have a weapon. A real dangerous situation. We'll see what officers do if they try to come up. Now he's on his way. I guess the cone did. Perhaps... Wow. Now, 
Now, let's see. He's going to continue on. Uh, this area, again, was blocked off. Uh, if he makes it out of here, this is, wow, this is something else. Again, a very unique scene here in Southern California if you're watching us. Uh, of course, that goes without saying, Tony. A tanker truck uh, allegedly stolen by a male suspect here making his way through a construction area down a very narrow street. You can see uh, the exact location on our fly-along uh, pinpoint navigation system. There's an LAPD air unit watching every move. You can see units behind him. This is on Curson Avenue, now approaching 6th Street, just off of Wilshire Boulevard. Now, he's pulling off to the right, and let's see what happens here. If he decides, wow, is he going to try to pull into the parking structure, perhaps? Or maybe he's... Yeah, we just, you know, with most pursuits, obviously there's a lot going on, and, and they're going to run because they're not in custody. And they'll run as far and fast as they can, knowing that, hey, you know what, there's a chance I could get away. And we do see that on occasion. 18% on average in the city of Los Angeles are able to evade officers. A lot of those are motorcyclists. Some of them uh, are those pursuits that are just so dangerous they pull off. All right. He made, uh, he made his way out of there, and now he's on 6th Street. Oh, it looked like that officer almost bumped that, that red car as he was backing up. I thought he did. No? No, he did not. He did not, I guess. Vinny Max in the back watching that as well. So now he's making his way on 6th Street off of Curson. Now he's this. You know, the more I look at this, I'm just wondering. I'm speculating. We got all this information from our assignment desk, listening to the Los Angeles Police Department on frequency, that this was a pursuit, that this uh, tanker truck was stolen, that it almost looks like this large flatbed truck may have something to do with it. And again, pure speculation on my part. And again, I know that if the, if the desk is listening in on the scanner, they could provide a little more information. But this is bizarre. It's not like he's running the driver full steam to get away from the officers. He's made a couple of erratic turns. He has gone through intersections once he's stopped. All right, now he's out. And he's on his phone. He's on his cell phone. Now let's see what happens here, what officers are going to do. they got to be behind him. Let's widen out and show you. they got to be approaching him by this point, giving him strict orders. This is a situation now becomes what we call a felony stop, where hands up, drop what you have in your hands, lay down on the street. And it appears that he's doing business. He's on his phone. They are approaching him at this time. They're giving him strict uh, instructions, that's for sure. And he is he's doing exactly what they told him to do. Again, this was all alleged, and I say this because it's so, so odd how this all went down, watching this from above. An alleged stolen tanker truck by that male, that man. That was the only uh, individual, we believe, that was inside the cab. The tanker truck, 2,000 gallons, loaded with some sort of what LAPD was saying, uh, unflammable liquid, possibly so unflammable that it was water. And it's come to a stop here on 6th Street just off of Curson Avenue. Wilshire uh, picked this up uh, initially. They tracked it through Beverly Hills and to this point. And the driver has been cuffed. And he's going to be uh, taken into custody. This is not a code 4 yet. They have to clear that cab. You can see officers with their guns still drawn. Once they clear the cab and... All areas where anybody or anything could be hiding in and around this uh, truck, they will put up those four fingers and call it a code four. Thankfully, nobody was injured. Well, we're going to have to do a follow-up on this to see exactly what this is all about. Again, a tanker truck being pursued by the LAPD, but it appears that it has come to a sex successful end with nobody being injured. We certainly have. These officers are still running here. Let's see what's going on. Is there somebody else inside that cab? Uh, they ran around and... Oh, I think uh, I think that's it. I think that's uh, a code four. They saw something in there. All right. What? What's he saying?
All right, I want to hear. He did. Wow. So maybe he was trying to just go, oh, no, I just well, I was moving it. and Wow. From that location, that's why that, tr that flatbed looked like it had reason to be there. Yeah. Oh, because they knew him. Yeah. That's, that's bizarre. All right, we're done. Why would the officers run all the way around the back and not around the front, just to cover themselves? Yeah, 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 you're right, that makes sense. Here comes uh, Smollett. 